Howdy, y'all. So we got a little bit of a problem. 20 tons is just not enough. So to remedy that, I got that. You would think, well, that's not a problem. But the problem is that 50 ton jack will not fit in between these arms. So we have to modify this. And our plan here is to flip this plate around. We're going to weld some other brackets on the back of this. We're going to go ahead and leave these. We might need them for something else in the future anyway. And rather than cut them off and go through all that trouble, all we need to do is flip the plate around and use this side. And before I get going, please do remember to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you can see when new videos are uploaded. And uh, let's get started. Of course, everybody's got a scrap pile out in the back, and I'm no different. But I got this really nice piece of half-inch angle iron. That was used for some other purposes before, but we are going to cut our pieces out of this. And I know what you're thinking. Yes, we just made the puller in the last episode. And yeah, we're thinking the same thing. It's incredibly frustrating, but we'll get it right this time. And we'll make it big enough that we can get the 50 ton in there. And hopefully we got some resolution in this video. For those of you that might think we didn't have enough pressure on there, it definitely bent this bolt. Now, granted, this is not a grade 8, it's not even a grade 5 or a grade 2, uh, but that's still a big bolt, and we had pressure on it. It did bend. I got some grade 8s to go in it next time. And we just found the center of this, and we're going to mark it with the compass to make sure that we don't encroach on the area that that jack is going to need to be. Well, there's three of our six new brackets right there. All right, let's see how straight you can cut them, man. Yeah, well, <laughs> I never claimed to be a good welder or torch man. In theory, this is what it's going to look like when we get the other five of these cut. They're going to go on here in a similar fashion to the other side. I'll weld underneath here. And we might even nip this corner off with the torch. We're not going to need it. This is a lot thicker material. That should give us plenty of room outside of where our jack is supposed to go. Before we go too far, we decided that it would be a good idea to make sure that this jack will pump while it's on its side. And uh, It's slow, but it works. Some of the uh, reviews had it working on its side. Hey, kitty. Camera's out. Miss Movie Star Kitty. We'll have to block this up to keep it level. Yeah. It just made me laugh. I realized that uh, all the projects that these clamps have done. We got International on this side. And John Deere on the other. And I, I imagine soon it'll have some cat yellow on it. Yeah, this is serious deja vu. I'm doing it all over again, but um, I guess that's how these projects go sometimes. Well, we ran out of MIG wire for the MIG welder, so I'm going to have to stick weld the rest of this. And uh, as it always is, it's probably going to be a humbling experience. All right, let's tack weld this one down. And I'm going to admit, this arc welder is seriously humbling me. So don't look at those welds. I've actually thought about blurring them out. They're that bad. But uh, I got lazy with the MIG welder. There was a time I could do pretty well with the buzz box, but today's not that time. So we got super frustrated with the arc welder, and I actually made a ride to town to get some MIG wire so we could finish this up and yeah we rushed it but this has turned into quite the Frankenstein of a puller and there's a few pounds of weld on this thing so hopefully it works our suspicion is that this plate being AR400 and welding the mild steel to it and a combination of rod that's been sitting in the cabinet here for I don't know how long and the fact that I got spoiled by having a MIG welder, yeah, I need to practice with the arc welder quite a bit more. 
the puller has gotten so ridiculously heavy that we have no choice but to move it with the cream. <laughs> this is dumb. What are we doing? I don't know. <laughs> You know, if it works, I don't care. But what I'm afraid of is we're still not going to be successful. If it's not it successful, then I don't know what I'm going to do. I really do think we were actually just saying that probably been a lot less work if we would have just put heavy grease in here and topped it off once in a while. But do it once, do it right. We're okay. We're okay if we can get it in there. You know what? We're going to have to take that one arm off. There. There we go. Okay. There's got to be some fun parts to this job. Actually... What do we look? Pretty good. Okay, we got it set up. A lot of balancing, a lot of frustration, a lot of arguing, a lot of fighting. We got it lined up. This is my shield, and I'm going to pump it from over here. Dad's over there hiding behind the Bronco, and uh, we're going to set you guys up here on the floor. And... Uh, I'll be the only one within any kind of proximity. So hopefully this works. It's 50 ton jack. So we'll see. Are we ready? I guess. Ooh, I heard something. Yeah, I hope it ain't Something popped. Yeah. I think we broke the sprocket. Nope, it come off. We got it off? Yeah. Come on. We got it off. I'm telling you, it's right there. See it? It's up against the nut. Oh, finally. Wow. It popped the quarter inch. Oh, I saw this grease on here, and I thought it no. was cracked metal. That's just a spacer. It goes, see these holes? Lines in these dowels right there. You really going to leave me hanging? What? Oh. That's better, Dad. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, it's off. We just <sighs> got to uh, take this contraption out of here now and unscrew the nut. That was a big pop. Yeah. With this nut on there, it held it from yeah. coming off, see? Yeah. Pump it, see if it'll come off some more before we do anything. we still got a few threads on there. I don't think it's going to... It's just going to slide off. Loose now. Out. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's coming right it's off. It's sliding right off of there. So. Yeah. It's coming right off. Sweet. Our puller saved the day. It made it. My weld's held. I don't know how we're going to put this thing back together. I don't either. It's going to take a lot of pressure. This jack takes a lot of pressure to push it back in. Okay. 16 pound sledgehammer can deliver <laughs> a lot of pressure. <laughs> yeah, that's just a collar. There it is. It's off. <sighs> and there's our bellows. That's, that's the monster we've been after. You know what? We ought to see if we can find a new sprocket. <laughs> <laughs> At least for the other side. You know, that puller worked good, didn't it? Yeah. Because it actually pulled in here a lot. Yeah, there's no damage inside this sprocket in, in where here. that was. It, a little it pulled bit here, here, and it was in the hub, too. So Yeah, right in this area here is where I made it to pull. 
Oh, that was All just... Right. That was ridiculous. Now we got to do the other one. Yep. We know it'll do it. Yes. Yeah. We know it'll do it. it. I think one of my viewers said that it would pop at 25 tons. What do you think we were at? I don't know. You were on I, the handle. I was on the handle, and I had a cheater on it, and that's a 50-ton jack. Well, let's so. roll this somewhere out I, of the we road. We were probably, and this um, is just a wild, a wag, <laughs> but I'm going to say that this was probably... 30, 35 tons? I'd say you were Maybe up 40. In, the, in the 40 range. Yeah, but it's not going to go um. back on that much. It's, it's got a little bit of wear, but we can, I think we can flip it around. This side's new. One down, one to go. Okay, first I need to block that one up. Our bolt's ready. Do you have that half-inch spacer? Are we centered? I could probably bring this one up a little. I'm scared. Uh huh? Yeah. I'm only a few feet away from it, man. You got the, the valve closed. Yeah, I checked that it was pumping when I... You're looked. leaking stuff. Oh, no. Don't go over there. You're that you. jack blew out. Where? Right out the top. Look. Seriously? Yes. Well, let me see if it'll pop it before it goes... I don't think so. She popped it. Yeah. It was Jack was good for, for two two the one two time bowls. use Jack. Uh. What a Frankenstein contraption this is. But it works, and the welds held. Well, that was one heck of a fight, and at least we got them off. Both of them off. I got a little worried when that jack decided to give up the ghost, and uh, it was a good call to keep pumping with that jack until we got that one popped off because I had no other options after this. And anything that goes back on is not going to need 50 tons worth of force. Even if it says so, I'm not doing it. And uh, nothing broke. Everything's off. Everything's on the ground. And we are exhausted. This turned out to be quite the challenge, uh, but it in turn is quite the victory. And we are super happy. So now's the time on Sprockets when we dance. So the next time I get on here and... Uh, I'm going to be taking these off. I want to get into those, check those bearings, pull those bellows seals out of there. Those were the culprit to begin with. And I wanted to show you something before I go today on the old ones from the outside. And there's one of these over here that is cracked. And I do not recall which one it was, but there's a very visible crack. And there was obviously no way to repair that. So it was a good idea to get those off of there. In the end, we're going to be better off. I do want to thank you for watching. Please do like, share, and subscribe. Click the notification bell down below so you can see when new videos are uploaded. And we'll see you on the next one.